Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make this beautiful lacy fine super duo bracelet. It's easy to make and I'm showing step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're gonna be able to make it by yourself and you are invited to ask me anything in the comments. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button because in this way you will receive twice a week new tutorials and you will be inspired often and will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials, mainly on Facebook and Instagram pages. And you will find the link to my second channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are super duo beads in this beautiful blue color and 11 o seed beads in white color. This is a small class because this bracelet is really fine and here I use monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line if you want. This is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. Okay and now I'm going to take a comfortable length of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys and I'm back and how I'm going to start my bracelet I will pick up three white beads. Okay three of them. Then I will take two super duo beads. Okay just like this. Uh, then again I will take three white beads and two super duo beads. Okay. So now guys, this is what I have on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I wanna do is make a knot and I'm making it by making here a loop going twice through the loop I've made pulling. Then I will make one more knot. just like that. So now guys I have this beautiful element and this will be in the center of my bracelet. Okay so the first thing I want to do after I make it is to reinforce my work by going one more time around this element. Okay, and now I'm exiting out of this white bead and what I want to do next is make the same element but starting from here, from this white bead. So I'll do something differently. Now I will take just one white bead, two blue beads, then three white beads and then two blue beads and then one white bead. It's a little bit different this time because my elements share beads and I'm starting in from another point. But when I go here around this one in circle, I will have the exa exactly same element. Okay, so now what I do is again reinforcement. Okay, now I'm exiting here and from here on guys, I'm going to repeat the same thing that I showed you before, which is the following sequence, a white, two blue, three white, two blue 
and a white. Okay. Uh, if you want, pause this video, pick it up, and we'll continue. Okay, so I'm going back in circle here. Now I have this. Now off camera, guys, I will reinforce this one. Okay, I'll go one more time around it and when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys, and off camera, I reinforce this part and I'm still exiting here at this bit. And I also cut my tail thread and now I will show you the whole thing one more time. I'm taking one blue bead, uh, white bead, sorry, two blue beads, three white beads, two blue and one white okay i have this on my needle and i'm going back here through this bead in circle in the opposite direction of where i'm exiting okay now i'm going here in this direction through those beads you see I'm exiting here, okay, making a reinforcement and continue absolutely the same way that I showed you here, here and here, okay, and I will continue doing this and when I have 21 of these elements, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. If your wrist is larger, you could do more elements, it's up to you. See you in a while. Okay, guys, and I'm here. I have 21 of those elements. As I told you, you could do less or more of them. And now I'm going to show you how to attach your clasp. Okay, so I'm exiting out of this white bead. I'm going through the next white and through the blue bead. Then I'm zigzagging as I'm going through the inner hole of this blue bead. I'm going through its outer hole. Okay. Now I will stick my needle in my mat and I want to take my part of my clasp. Half of it. Okay. Let's say I'm taking this part. And now what I want to do is take three white beads. Okay. Then I'm going to take my clasp, slide those down and I'm going to pick up three more just like this and I'm going here in the same hole, the outer hole of my super do. Okay, so now what I usually do after that is a reinforcement. So I'm going through the same place here you see where I'm going and I'm pulling then here and exit out of this bit then one more time through this one and it's good to make three rounds like this okay okay and now my thread is almost over that is why here is the time to cut it and add a new thread. If you want, you could take more thread and make the bracelet with one thread, but it's not comfortable for me. That is why I'm taking a comfortable length and then I'm making a knot by making a loop between two beads and going twice through the loop I've made and then pull. And by the way, you could repeat this knot several times and when you're ready, you could go through the following 
seed bead and then you could cut your thread. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and now I have a new thread on my needle, about half an arm span. And what I want to do is attach it here. Okay, I'm going through one bead. Here is the tail thread of my new, newly added thread. I'm holding it with my thumb. And here, between those two beads, I want to make the same knot that I showed you. I'm making a loop going once, going second time through this loop, making sure I'm between those two beads where I started it from and pull. And then you could repeat this knot if you want some more, several more times. Okay, now I want to exit through these three white beads and also through the blue one. Okay, just like this. And here I'm going to cut this thread. Okay. Now, what I want to do in my next step is take three white beads. Okay, three of them. And as I'm exiting through this blue bead, I'm going through the next and also through the following. You see, here I'm not adding anything. Just going through it. Okay, now I have this. In my next step, I'm picking up again three white beads. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going through this blue bead and through the following. Okay, forming this beautiful edge here of my bracelet. Now I need to take three more and I'm going here and through the following and just like this. Then again three and go through the following two. So it's take three and go through the following two. Okay, I will continue this until the end of this bracelet and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue with my work, this is what I have and here I am where I'm adding the last three beads from this row. And now what I want to do is attach the other part of my clasp. Okay, I take it here and I'm taking three seed beads and my clasp and then three more. Seed beads, okay, this is what I have here. And I'm going here through this super do, through its inner hole, uh, through its outer hole, sorry. Uh, then what I do is a reinforcement. And by the way, you could do it one more time. I'll do it off camera and I'll be back. Okay, and after one more reinforcement, I'm here. And what I want to do is continue with my work in this direction. And I think you guess how you should continue. But I'll show you anyway. I'm taking three beads just like this. And I'm going through the next two blue beads. Again. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and when I continue the same way, here I am at 
this step where I should add my last three beads from this row. Okay, I have them. And I'm going here in this direction. Okay. Now in my next step, what I'm going to do is make a knot and cut my thread. But since I showed you how I'm making knot two times before, I won't show you again. Okay, see you in a while. Okay guys, and now my fine SuperDo lacy bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button. And in this way, you will be inspired usually twice a week and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself. Down there in description you will find a full list of materials, link to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also check my second channel with the fast clips. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye from me.